So there were a lot of protests throughout the day that were mixed versions of success um, that targeted the G20. Um, but the first night of the G20 summit that night, uh, there was a cabaret on campus that involved uh, like a variety show that was mostly around um, queer or gay youth. And then there was also a speaker who was talking about, um, I think it was like riot as therapy, but kind of discussing like the role of property destruction and violence against the police within a social justice movement. Um, and that definitely seemed to have inspired a lot of people to participate in this march. But a march was called by a queer liberation organization called Bash Back to hit the streets that night. Um, and so there were about, I mean, I've seen estimates from 100 to 300 people, all dressed in black, um, who took the march into the streets and then took the march directly into this economic district, which is right near um, Pitt State. Um, and from there, the crowd, within 10 minutes, had dumpsters in the street had overturned some of the dumpsters, had set some of the dumpsters on fire. And then there was just this intense smashing sound that went on for what seemed like eternity, but it was really only a couple minutes, but just windows everywhere collapsing. A police station was targeted as well. Just over the course of that 20 minutes, there was a lot of property destruction and just a lot of um, just kind of collective joy amongst the crowd. There was no police response that, that happened for the first 15 to 20 minutes. The police were very late in responding. We took the police by surprise. And we kind of showed that although we lived in this police state, that we could still succeed in these kind of actions.